Yeah, okay, we list. can totally talk about season four. You gotta give us something four. here. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> what, can you, what can you tell us about season four? Very like, little bit. <laughs> we, we start very soon after season three ended. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, I, I gotta just say it, like Dyson obviously survives, you know, crash. But uh, we come back very soon afterwards, and uh, we can't find Bubba. And this is where we start out. Um, and it's, uh, but something has happened to us all. And, Everybody's uh, changed just, a little yes. season four. You know, we sort of derailed a little tiny bit, and it's about figuring out now where we kind of fit in, how the world has worked since the shift. And there is a big shift. Yeah, yeah. the personality for the change. Yeah, you're going to get happy. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, we definitely have to evolve, you know. It's like the the wanderer. We have to figure out who this wanderer guy is. Um, we get to explore Dyson's backstory a little bit. We get to see uh, you know where him and Trick came from. Um, we get to see a lot more backstories from the characters like Lawrence as well. Yeah. Yeah, how she came to be, and you know, like, oh, all of that stuff with yeah. Karen is yeah. at the end of last season. things get a lot more complicated. You know, it's, uh, the show feels, I keep saying this, but it feels a lot bigger this year. Where yeah. We fi just finished, we did 401 and 402. 401 is a huge episode. Like, it's it's beautiful, and there's just so much going on. It honestly felt like we were making a, a little standalone movie. Um, but the show is getting more and more ambitious. And uh, yeah, I think, the, I, think the, I think everyone's in for a really nice ride this season. I think it's going to be the best season yet. Do you have an idea of how long you want the show to go? Like, do you see a natural end yet, or do you want to just keep going? Well, Dyson can't age, so. I'm <laughs> <laughs> There's the angel back here. Yeah, if I get gray, it breaks the. We're gonna have to rewrite that, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Dyson was infected with an aging parasite. <laughs> uh, Grecian formula. Yeah, awesome. I'll, I'll take a little Rogaine. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that those, Maybe another couple, one or two. It'll go as long as it, it's, it's sort of interesting still, yeah. you know? Like, I, I always think, like, I always feel badly when shows kind of keep going and it's done. So I think we'll go until it's, it's done, you know, until the stories have been told. And, and we want to have closure, too. Like, you know, we want to make everyone feel like, oh, the story, you know, either ended on a, like, new beginning or, you know, so that there's a nice... I hate it when the series, they just end. It's just like, oh, what happened to all these un, unsort of unanswered questions? And I hope we get to They're not already talking spin-offs, are they? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> they, they're talking about spin-offs with, with Dyson and Gallup and Cops. He really? can trick. Wow. That's, that, that's so that <laughs> we can get more facts and use sharpness. I think it should be Dyson and Trick as Cops. <laughs> God, I don't even know where to go with this. <laughs> <laughs> I think the magic of Lost Girl would be lost. I mean, it's like the thing that's Lost Girl is an ensemble cast. Totally. Right? That's the I mean, strength of the show. It'd be really hard to pull the two of us out and make a show around this character because we really are what we are because of everyone else. Yeah. I think. How, how has Anna's absence affected how you guys work on this show and everything you guys are doing? It was very interesting um, in the beginning, but I mean, Anna's back. And in full, you know, full form. She looks fantastic oh, for someone fantastic. who just had a human being. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Like, yeah. yeah, she looks great. Yeah. No, so, uh, what's your favorite action scene from this season that you can tell us about? And what do you do to work out to be able to do all the action scenes? Um, I don't think my favorite action scene this season has happened yet. I think that there's going to be some really cool big fights that are coming up. Uh, they've prepped me about it, they've told me about some of the ideas. Um, as far as, uh, I mean, past ones, you know, like episode two or five was great with all the sword. There was a lot of great stuff in that. Brothers of the Wolf of the Wolf was called. And the, the Lupercon, the Lupercon fight at the end of the last season was great. Um, I come from an athletic background, so it was like different disciplines. I did pentathlon, so it was running, swimming, shooting, horseback riding, and fencing. It's like a lot of different things. And then I trained with a great trainer. It was like very, you know, sort of mixed martial arty. I've done a lot of Mixed martial, martial arts. Arty. Yeah, mixed <laughs> martial arts. We do a little painting, <laughs> little like Crafts. finger puppets. You know, <laughs> we do, yeah, yeah, that's great. Um, you know, I've done Tai Chi, Taekwondo. I've done a lot of different things. So I just kind of now I just have my own sort of practice and I mix it all together and it just kind of works. What, what, what's been the strangest thing that happened to you so far this week? Now, Lost Girl is so huge. 
This weekend? This weekend or ever. But this weekend specifically. I think getting recognized is still weird, you know, like just being in the grocery store, and, you know, it always takes a few minutes to, um, you know, so that sort of stuff still is, is a bit you know, it, jarring for me. You know? Because back to that Harry Potter thing, um, it's always weird because, like, like, I didn't hang out with you personally, but you guys were, like, mingling with everyone. And no one knew who you were, and the show <laughs> never it hasn't didn't start Has airing yet. yet. Yeah, and it's so awesome watching that in person because then it's like you guys are like real people at that point, and totally. then and then it's like now you guys are like yeah, not anymore. And, and how did, just how does that kind of help you? Impact you? Yeah, I mean, you just take it as, uh, you know, you try and take it as it comes, and, and uh, I, you know, I honestly feel grateful for it. Like, it's, we're so lucky that the show has done as well as it has, and, and um, you know, it's a, it's a learning curve, because no one preps you for, for that stuff, you know, you just kind of have to figure it out as you go. How do you want the love triangle to resolve? In a threesome. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Zoe and I are really trying to get the network to go on board with this. They're fighting tooth and nail. Uh, I think we'll win eventually. We're just going to shoot it one way or another. <laughs> yeah. And I know we'll be doing some completely unrelated scene, and Zoe and I are just going <laughs> to run in it. Tire her. Yeah. But be honest, there won't be any cameras there. And this will be <laughs> no, it's, it's true. It'll be under a table. Yeah. <laughs> Or all of a sudden there's a splice and there's some home video. The time, I, I, my input is not needed, but they do, uh, they do pretty well. You know, and it, it's part of our show's sort of fabric, you know, we have to... The, the, the closure that I'm looking for is like part of that, it, it'll come at the end, you know, eventually we'll figure it out because... I, I, think, I think the bottom line is no one's really satisfied. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> I know you have a hard time. I know. Uh, but who do you think she loves more? What? <laughs> what do you think she loves more? No comment. I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Yeah. I think Good equally, answer. just for different reasons. Sorry? I think she loves both of you equally, but just for different reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. It's, it's I kind of like the, the lost girl, yeah. to me, is almost turned into the lost fae. Every character yeah. is lost somewhere in their life, and they're all trying to, the the to get... that everybody is a bit lost. They're, they're all kind of yeah. looking for something. And exactly. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Well, they're giving us Not really a question. Very <laughs> 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 yeah. true, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching and like, being so involved. This is great. Yeah. 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 It's, it's an amazing show. It's just... I'm glad you guys like it. We have fun making it, so I'm really glad of it's kind of... We can share it. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Who's the better werewolf, though? Underworld or Dice? Uh, I'm sorry, I, was just, I wanted to check out Zoe Palmer's legs. Yeah, you're right. They're, they're, they're famous legs. Wow. Yeah. Uh, who's a better wolf? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? That, that character from Underworld was. It was crazy. It was like, it was like 20 foot tall Uber. Like, <laughs> well, it's funny because I didn't, the first time I saw, I didn't put the two together until I saw Underworld again. And I'm like, oh. wait a second. <laughs> I know. I, um, I didn't, I didn't, wait. Yeah, he was the, he was the werewolf. At first I thought, oh, he's going to oh, be, wait. A, he's going to be a vampire instead of another werewolf. And then you were like, couldn't yeah. walk through doors. Because yeah, they, was, they, 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 yeah, I sent me that. Blu-ray box well, set. I, I'm getting away from it now. I have to. Well, what's funny is the, the, the directing team was a sweet, couple of Swedish guys, mm -hmm. and they had no idea what Lost Girl was, right? So I had done, I think, one season of Lost Girl. And so I had had all this practice being a wolf, right? So I go to my audition, and I just I wolfed out for them. And they were like, wow, that was awesome. Is there such hey, you're, you're hired. You is know? there such a thing as being typecast as a wolf now? Yes, there definitely is. There have been a couple of films that have been offered to me where they want me to play wolves. Yeah, I was like, I'm sorry, I, I gotta, I gotta move on to something else. Do a vampire and switch it up. Exactly, you know. Like, <laughs> yes. Get a picture for my daughter. Absolutely. <laughs> I tell her I don't, I don't appreciate you as much as she does. Oh no.